All right, Flo. So before the game started, Alex Smith was talking, and if you guys, you don't know Alex Smith, man, he was quarterback for how many years? Like almost ten years for the Niners. Yeah. He was there for a while, and he said something that I 100% agree with. I know a lot of fans kind of hyped him up more to what he what they believe, but this is what this is word out of the mouth of Alex Smith. Check this out. Brock Purdy's just a guy. Frustrated all week with all this talk that Brock Purdy's just a guy, that, right? That he's just average, and certainly he's just a product of this great situation. And it couldn't be further from the truth. Well, Phil listen, where we let him. Yeah, out. listen, last week <laughs> they played in a rain game. He, he struggled with his grip. I don't know a quarterback in the NFL that likes to play in the rain. Sure. Right? Let's, let's leave it at that and move on and take a look at actually what happened this year and some of the narratives around this guy. The first one, that he's a game manager, right? He's, he's conservative with the football. He's not aggressive. He's not a difference maker. Third and ten in this divisional round game, the guy struggled with his grip. Check this out. I can tell you what a game manager is doing. He's throwing it to one of these two guys in the Checking flat. Down. That's, that's what you do. You don't do this with a free defensive end bearing down on you. You don't stand in and not even flinch oh and then have the guts to make this throw. Wow. Are you kidding me? Over the middle, all this traffic, third and ten, your team needs you to make a play. Look at this. Look at the courage in that moment to make that play. A big I can tell throw. you, big as the unofficial president of the game managers club, <laughs> he's not allowed in. You don't get to make plays. All right. all right, man. So he's not invited to the club. You know, and oh, kudos to Alex Smith, man, for admitting it. Me and you have always said it. He, Alex Smith is the ultimate game manager. He's like, he is a president. Like you said, he is the president of the game manager cl club. And the fact that he's saying, dude, I'm sorry. Like he's not in. This guy is definitely, he's more than that. He's pretty much, he's a game changer. That's what he is. And I get it. A lot of people say game manager, not a bad thing. But for the most people, when they look at the word game manager, it's not what we want, you know. It's it's not who you want, you know. Um, we've probably had the best game manager, but you want that game changer. And what do you think about Alex Smith saying, dude, sorry, you can't come into the club, man? Yeah, man. Well, first off, I got to give respect to Alex Smith because yeah. that's kind of a hard thing to take, saying that mm -hmm. you're a game manager. But you got to give him credit because he's like, no, Purdy's not in this club. He's he's a game changer. He's elite. So, like, that just shows, like, respect to Brock Purdy, you know. So, I give Alex Smith mm -hmm. his flowers because, yeah. yeah, like, it's hard to say, like, damn, like, I'm not, I wasn't that guy, mm -hmm. but this guy is, you know. Mm -hmm. That takes a lot of, uh, to, like, put, push us out of your pride because he could be like, no, I was legit, you know. Mm -hmm. But now for him to be like, hey, I, was, I know I was solid, but I wasn't that mm -hmm. kind of guy that Brock Purdy is. And we've been saying this all along, man, that this guy is not a system quarterback. Yeah, and he is the system. He makes it go. Obviously, we have great guys around him. That, that's not a, that's not even a debate. Obviously, we have great players. IU, Kittle, Debo, uh, Christian McCaffrey, Trent Williams. List goes on. But we had those guys the last couple of years with the guy who was really a game manager in Jimmy Garoppolo. So that's why we couldn't get over that hump. You know, we got we got pretty close. But mm -hmm. to get over that hump, you need that game changer. You need that guy who's gonna. Uh, spark something when it seems like everything's like going bad. That's what happened this last game, man. We were down 17. We knew that spark, and that's when he started making plays that second half. He just started dialing in, connecting, getting every single person involved because he's a game changer. But, man, what do you think about this? Yeah, man, the dude's able to use his legs. Like, the fact that he's able to elude sacks and go out and make plays, that's when he's the best, you know, when he's able to roll to his left, roll to his right. Alex Smith, as much as I liked him, when he always rolled to that right, you knew the play was pretty much going to be over. I know there was that one design play and that when he rolled to the left and ran it um, against the Saints and got that touchdown. Um, that was a design play, but Brock Purdy, he makes plays out of nothing. Usually he's a guy that if someone's open, doom, he's going to find him. But if no one's open, man, he's going to make that play. And he is, he's a game, uh, he's a game changer, man. And um, the fact, you're right, the fact that Alex Smith went out there and he said that it, it, it takes a lot of balls because there's so many dang athletes out there that think that they are more than what they are. You know, I remember um, <clears throat> listening to what, what was that guy Jackson from the Spurs and all the other teams um, basketball talking Steven about Jackson. Steven Jackson. He's out there. He was talking about, yeah, I could be, I could be uh, all the guys in their prime, like a whole bunch of them. Like, dude, what the hell? Yeah, I could be Luca. If Luca was my prime, I was in my prime. And it's just like, dude, you're like full of shit, bro. Like you're full of shit. Do you need to put down the weed? Cause it's not true. So the fact that Alex Smith is out there just being truthful, man. Um, and I know a lot of fans out there, Niner fans will always say, no, this dude's like more of a, um, he's a game a changer. Uh, Alex Smith. He wasn't man. He was the ultimate game manager. And 
that's not what Brock Purdy is, man. Brock Purdy is way more than that. This dude is a freaking he's a he's a stud, man. He's a stud. I know he's not like big tall dude, but um he is like the uh, I don't know the bigger version of Doug Flutie, but better. I don't know because you know what Doug Flutie was, but this guy he's he's bigger than Doug Flutie. But this dude he makes plays, man. He's like the Doug Flutie of college football. How Doug Flutie was so great in college. This guy's just amazing, man. I mean, this offense right here, if we win the Super Bowl, it's going to be cut because of this offense, not because of this defense. You know, when Jimmy had that game, that team almost at the Super Bowl, it was our defense was holding up. When we couldn't do it anymore, we needed him to make a play. It didn't happen. If you want to have that clutch gene, you got to have those game-winning drives. You got to have it. This is the guy to do it, man. It seemed like he's been doing this these past few weeks, man, down in the fourth quarter. Um, last week against the Packers and doing the same thing down by 17, not panicking, not going crazy, um, just knowing that you have the chance at winning this game, ultimate game changer. Uh, to me, top five quarterback, top five quarterback in the NFL, no question about it. The dude almost won the MVP, and you have all these haters out there saying, oh, just ripping him for some damn reason. Doesn't make sense, but this dude definitely is not a game manager. Whatever you say, he's not that, man. The king, the president, of the club said no you can't get in you ever seen the movie the ninth of roxbury you ever seen that movie you can't get in the club sorry <laughs> sorry purdy you can't get in because you do you got to go to the bigger club the bigger club out there that's where you belong baby yeah man and think think about this just in this last week this is now two quarterbacks that have come out and say like hey this guy's a game changer so now it's alex smith last week it was uh our boy chase daniels mm -hmm. and i know those guys weren't the most elite quarterbacks They've been around the game forever. They know mm -hmm. when there's a guy who's real or not. So for these guys to be coming out there and being like, hey, like I know the media is spinning this narrative that this kid can't play the game. He can. You got to just go watch the film to actually understand what he does do, what he brings to the table. Whether it's like you said, freaking uh, that pocket awareness, mm -hmm. stay, keeping from getting those sacks or just turning up the field and getting his first downs when we least expect it. Or him just freaking putting the ball in the right place at the right time, uh, making the correct calls. That's what makes him a game changer, man, because this guy, we, we haven't had that quarterback, like you said, in forever. Even Steve Young, it's been, what, 20 years? Plus years. Plus 20 yeah, plus years. You know. So, man, it's been it's been a long time coming, but, man, we're glad that finally it seems like we landed that guy. So now, Birdie, just take us to that promised land and get us that six ring, man. That's what we when need. he was running for those first downs, man, I was like, I was thinking, like, dude, we're so used to other teams doing this to like to, not to us but like in general just watching big time games when these guys is quarterbacks always come in clutch it's like we're not used to having that damn quarterback like oh my gosh are we really what is this our dude like is this our dude and then you have to like pinch yourself like dude this is this is a niners quarterback right here doing this stuff it was magical watching man these big third downs no one's open brock purdy avoids the tackle uh, sack just runs for a first down like he's running breaking tackles i'm like dude this is like clutch this is when we need a touchdown and he's out with the uh game uh ceiling drive right there uh getting first downs and then finally i think what christian mccaffrey getting to the two and then mitchell punching in but absolutely amazing you know unfortunately i don't want to bring it up but like those games against the well, against the giants in the nfc champion wow. we had that game one all we were at the two yard line and alex smith you know just couldn't get it done he had i think he had someone open that game that play but you have to score a touchdown or get that the first down. And Brock Purdy did it, man. Same thing with Jimmy Garoppolo. Couldn't get it done in that Super Bowl. With this kid, I think we have a chance, man. I truly believe that this is the kid to get us that sixth ring. Absolutely unbelievable what he's doing. And you know, it was kind of silly. Like, I hate to bring it up, too, the Giants game because that freaking game hurt so much. But he, he kind of does what Eli Manning would do where he was, like, in the pocket and it looks like he's about to take a sack. And somehow mm -hmm. this guy would escape yeah. and just create big plays. He does a lot of that, too. Like, mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like, damn, that almost reminded me of Eli Manning. Like, he just he doesn't go down. He fights till the very end. And that that's the thing that makes this guy special because it's not over until – that clock runs a zero in this guy's head. This kid's head, he's like, no, I'm going to bring this back regardless. I'm going to keep going. You're, I'm not going to stop until that, that clock goes double zeros. Mm -hmm. And it was so key, those third downs. Those third mm -hmm. downs, able to get it. And again, going to that NFC Championship game against the Saints in 2011, 2012 with Alex Smith. That game, I think we're 0 for 15 in third downs, which bit us in the ass. This guy, Brock Purdy. These third downs in the fourth quarter from Packers to this game right now against um, in the NFC Championship Lions. this year, Lions. Third downs, clutch, man. Just absolutely clutch. There's a reason you score 27 points 
uh, in a row against the Lions. Those third downs were key, and man, oh, did we have to have it. That third down touchdown to Ayuk, too, clutch. This dude is clutch. This dude is not a game manager. He is that game changer. And Alex Smith, I appreciate that, man. You said it. You hit you hit it right in the head, man. This dude is way more than that, way more. And I'm pumped up. All right, well, you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about Alex Smith saying, Brock Purdy, sorry, he can't be in part of my club. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.